Hey guys, check out our merch. It's on Shopify. It's Dream Chasers, D R E A M C H A S E R S dash indie dot my Shopify dot com. Dream Chasers dash indie dot my Shopify dot com. If you like some of the shirts that you see in some of our videos, check us out today. No Chanel, mama and Gucci, got out the hoop to get, been through hell, carry the, carry the, life is a movie, yeah, we prevail, now we do the coupies, don't do the groupies, yeah, got money for bail, yo, act like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah, flooded the road, you would eat them, pack like a train to the Beamer, blow the money like Freema, I got a flex on the sleepers, they try to do me like Caesar, you gotta watch for the creepers, I got the eye on the fever. Hey, welcome to another episode of Dream Chasers. Uh, coming on the show today, uh, I have, uh, oh, before I do that, make sure if you like these podcasts, um, you like these video casts, please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this really helps our, our production out. This really helps um, you know our popularity, our page. So if you really like what you see, like, comment, and please subscribe to our channel. Uh, subscribe to our uh, audio podcast. You can also listen to this while you're driving. Uh, and for most of, most of the people like to do the audio video. So today um, I have um, former Miss Basketball, um, WNBA um, champion, um, Xavier standout, uh, North Central standout, Amber Harris. We got Amber Harris on today. Amber, how you doing? Hey, what's up? I'm good. How are you? All right. All right. So let's get to it, man. Tell us about you. Where you, where you from? I know where you from, but tell everybody else. <laughs> I'm from uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I mean, but I was born in uh, I was born in um, Mississippi. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a Indiana native. Went to North Central High School. Went to Northview Middle School. Nora mm -hmm. Elementary. So you know, I've just been here pretty much my whole life. Um, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. So Indianapolis native. So what uh what sports did you play coming up? Was it just all basketball, or how'd you get to basketball? And what sports did you play besides basketball? Uh, well, I did try uh, track my eighth, okay. eighth grade year, whatever. Okay. I was pretty good, pretty fast, obviously, uh, okay. and just did it one year. Um, I, I had a mistake where I missed the mat doing high jump and said, I'm never doing this again. I don't know how you missed the mat. The mat is so big. But right. right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only – basketball is the only sport I've been playing. You know, okay. I tried tennis just for AAU purposes as in – you know, getting coordinated with, you know, different things, doing different techniques and stuff like that. So I did a little bit of tennis, just practice though. Right. So how'd you get drawn to the sport? Like, did you have somebody kind of recruit you? Did you pick it up on your own? How'd that work? Well, you know, being six foot right now, but I was just tall. My mom six had, uh, took me up to, uh, North central, um, okay. or no Northview. It was Northview for a tryout for like North central's like their little, whatever they had, like the youth whatever. Yeah, so right. tried out for that play, you know, and that's how I pretty much really got in. Just my mom put me in and just let's go. My first shot was a three, though. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, let's not let, – we ain't going to never live that down. So you always – you always been tall – what you what was there a learning curve for you? Was you because most people that start off tall they're pretty awkward. Maybe they trip over their feet. They don't have good feet. Nah, what, you, <laughs> you always had it, huh? No, nah, I'm actually surprisingly very coordinated. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I wasn't. I mean, I guess when you're young, you I mean of course you're a little clumsy, but you're right. a kid. Right. So right. So I mean, but normally nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. All right. When you got to high school, uh, you won. How many state championships did you win? 
I only won two. I was oh, kind of upset two. about my senior year. Yep, okay. I won sophomore and my junior year. Okay. And you know, I, I thought me and Bree Bass was gonna get me one. I thought Bree, right. Bree, I thought we was gonna get one. This gonna right. be Jordan and Pippen. I thought right. we was gonna get one. <laughs> right. But uh, we end up. I think we lost to. I don't know who we lost to. The first round, I think we lost in sectionals. Okay. I'm pretty sure I think we lost the first round of sectionals. It might have been to Hamilton Southeastern. I'm not sure. Okay. But okay. Yeah, so how two, was two titles? So yeah. how was uh, coming into high school um, as a freshman? Was you an impact player right away? So use it. So use an impact Absolutely. player right away. Explain the game, the difference in the game from Northview to so middle school to high school. Explain the difference in how the game was. Man, that's so – man, middle school, it was literally just me. Right, right. <laughs> so, right. so like, so the, my my eighth grade year is the year I played. My seventh okay. grade year, I couldn't play because grades. Okay. Seventh grade, couldn't play. I was 1.9 or something. Silly. Silly stuff. Right, right. But the next year, like, it was literally just me. Like, I can't really remember too much about the middle school. Right. But I just remember me. Like, I just remember it wasn't very high points, but I okay. remember it was just me. But right. uh, high school, high school, it, it, it became a little bit more competitive. Seeing your wife, Kia, right. you know, seeing, right. seeing Kia get buckets and right before I got <laughs> it, I wish we played together. But, you right. know, she was leaving when I was coming in. So, right. you know, she was a dog, it, it, you know, looking up to her. Right. To kind of coming into North Central, like, oh man, like this is this is she's big, so I want to kind of be where she's yeah, at. Big. Right. So, you know what I mean? So watching her and you know Omega and right. you know them 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 guys, like it was it was amazing watching them. Like the com the competition was better when I got to high school. Obviously, you know, you got right. more athleticism, got more quickness, and things like that. So right, um, yeah, that was that was that was that was that. Then when that was I got a big Right. Yeah, but then when I got to college, the competitiveness just turned. Oh, up. we oh we ain't going there yet. We ain't you know, you, you're getting say. ahead of me. You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> Take your time. So you what 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 was the year that you won your first state championship? Was it your sophomore year? It was my it was my sophomore year. It was my okay. sophomore year. Yeah. So, sophomore year. Explain a little bit about that year, because obviously your freshman year, you you probably just dipping in. You learned about the athleticism. It got a little bit faster. You get to your sophomore year. You win the championship. Kind of just walk me through that. Walk me through, you know, all right, you know, I got there. You know, I was kind of feeling myself. I know I got better. And, yeah, you know. And, you know, what's crazy, like, I got the picture right here of us. Um, I don't know how to flip. Let me see it. This is my soft. This is this is my actual. I remember that. Right here. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. That was a great, great time. Like, okay, it, it was, it was a, it was a tough time. Like, kind of just you know being the young one. You know, everybody right. else is much over. Like Ebony, we had Ebony Jenkins on the team. We had right. Sarah Lucan. We had Lucia. We had Kelly. We had you know Alexis Jennings, Maggie Orzeski, Amy. We had a lot of people. Nakia. We had right. we had some some a group good group of people some ballers right in, in that group so right. it was very special the first one was very very special okay so what was that what was that like going through it did you you got you got to sectionals and y'all won that sectional what was that like did you what did you expect because I mean what so your first year can you remember and I know I'm I'm asking a lot can you remember yeah. what was that like and when y'all lost that first year. Uh, what did, did I put something on your back? What the, was that my like? Friend, my friend, I actually don't remember it too much, but the um, mm -hmm. I do remember like the championship years and stuff like that. Like, it was amazing. We had a we had a great atmosphere going through sectionals, regionals, right. Right. state championships. It was it was great crowd participation. So right. that kind of helped us get through it too. Like you know those those were great moments. Okay. Okay. So it, we just had to <laughs> we had to rally together and get through it. Right. Fans. Right. So you win that first one. You come back and you win the back to back. What was yeah, up with that? Yeah, like I, now I know when you came back that junior year, your swag had to be so much. This probably was crazy. <laughs> actually, you know what's crazy? Like in high school, I was actually real. I'm I'm still quiet. Like I'm still the quiet person. Like I was very oh. quiet. I didn't talk that much. Right. Or you couldn't really get me to say anything. I wasn't like I got hype, but I didn't like. 
talk that much or whatever, like barely. Right. But right. when it, that going back to back, yeah, we we felt like the Bulls. That's all. We were trying to get that third. One. We were trying well, to get that third. One, but you was on that last we, dance, huh? Uh, we was on it. <laughs> so what was? Tell me, tell me, what was your parents like in high school? Was they hands on with you? What was that like? It was well, just, it was just my mom. So okay. my mom did a lot. My mom's been to every game, every everything I had. So right. with having her support and 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 stuff like that, that really helped me get through it and actually play better. Like it gave me something to play for, you know. Okay. So I'm playing for my family, you know what I mean. So it was good having that good support system with my mom and my sister and my brothers. Right, right. So talk about uh talk about a little bit, touch on that senior year. I know it was disappointing. Uh, I know you're disappointed. Yeah. Uh talk about that senior year and you getting missed basketball. What was that like? Was that like a dream come true? Uh was it a breeze yeah. that senior year? What was it? Senior senior, I thought I thought we had it in the bag. I really okay. did. I really thought we was gonna get sweep through sectionals easy, go through regionals and, and, and make it to the to the ship. But right. You know, obviously didn't make it, didn't make it there, but it was, it was surreal. Like I, I actually felt the moment when we lost, I, I really think it was Hamilton Southeastern. I okay. really think so. I really, but it was like, oh, it, we weren't at home. Right. So I remember the feeling. So like once the buzzer like went off, I was like, oh, I can't, I don't have a chance to do this again. You right. know what I mean? So right. I was like, I was hurt. Like when we lost, like I was really hurt for a while. Who was the, who was the front runners for uh for Miss Basketball? Who was who was in the race with you? Can you remember? I I remember Ashley Barlow was one, okay. maybe Susan Lester back then. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember too many other names. Right. So you so you probably played against Ashley Barlow, which y'all wouldn't match up because of the because and of the Pike position. always we always lost the Pike. I don't understand that. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. we uh, like it was we, but we only met them maybe like twice through like what's that the county Marion okay. County kind of or something like that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we always it, lost them. Just production wise, it wasn't gonna stop you. That was your year. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> so, um, you you get to your senior, well, probably junior senior year. You was highly recruited. Who's recruiting you? Everybody. Everybody. I got letter. Yep, I got letters from, I got letters from, um, you know, UConn. I got you know, Candace Parker, text. Well, texting me back then to get to Tennessee, and you know, it was a long time. It was a long time. I I had a lot of I had a lot of letters, like a lot of letters, like a lot of big big D one, you know, schools, whatever. But I I didn't want to go big big. Right. I wanted to go so- small. I know, I know why you went to the school you went to, but we're gonna we're gonna listen to this story again. How'd you get to Xavier? Because I already interviewed, I already interviewed your partner in crime, but I'm gonna let you say. Uh. It. <laughs> well, matter of fact, hold on, no, hold on. So this oh, okay. so, this this went this so went we reverse because you, you bought so her there. I'm me. sorry, my bad. Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, okay. Let me let me take it back then. So sophomore year of high school. Right. I committed to go to Purdue my sophomore year because mm-hmm. I love the coach. Uh, the coach was um, Christy, uh, Christy something. I don't know, okay. but she um, she recruited you know me and Tashia to come there, and we committed at the same time, right? Or whatever. So I was supposed to go there, but then they had a coaching change, which right. brought the coach in from IU, which was Sharon Versup at the time. You know, we had the you know the interview with her and stuff like that wasn't feeling it. So right. I ended up uh, talking to Mr. Merriweather about like, you know, of who he thought, you know, Kevin Gu- McGuff would have been great. So I went to visit, um, I went to visit Rutgers first. Okay. So Rutgers was a choice, actually. Rutgers, I almost came very close to going to Rutgers, but I ended up staying close to home. So went to Xavier. I love Xavier. I love that it was small. I love that it focused only on basketball. I loved the fact that you know the 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 atmosphere just was very nice like i like right. it so i went to i went to i went to xavier and uh <laughs> then tashia the tashia tells me she's like you know what Am, i'm gonna go to xavier too i said right. oh <laughs> right. 
so we didn't brought in a uh we didn't brought in a whole a whole squad. Right. Xavier was amazing. We yeah. had a squad. I remember. Yeah, we had a squad fourth in the country. Like we was we was trying to make some noise. I there wasn't a year I w- played for Xavier that I wasn't ranked. Right, right. So, well, you yeah. well you go to to Miss Basketball from the state of Indiana. I, I would imagine y'all gonna be nice. Oh shoot, I was gonna make sure of it. See, the thing is, I wanted to kind of just build my own kind of name. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like the the college was small, but we was gonna make a big impact for sure. Right. You was gonna hear you was gonna hear me. Right. So that's all that's all the mindset I had with that. So before I cut you off, you were saying you were saying how it was different playing uh, in in Xavier, uh, you know, from your experience wise. So what was that the like playing in college? The the competitiveness, the 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 workouts to like you know I'm 185, all muscle, 12 percent body fat, you right. know. So like they, it was it was it obviously. You got youth with you, but yeah, so just, 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 just being like, just the college experience itself was just, just, just way different than high school. Like, it right. turned into a whole different notch when I got to college. I'm like, oh my god, like, it needed to slow down a little bit. But then, you know, I got adjusted and things like that. But the college experience, hands down, one of the best experiences. Oh, I can't wait till you watch, ask about these accolades. Right, <laughs> right. So.